Satellite images of an aircraft hangar at a key Israeli military air base taken after a massive barrage of Iranian missiles appear to show a large hole in the roof. Images of the Nevedim Air Base in southern Israel on Wednesday show the damage to the roof in a row of buildings near the main runway. Large pieces of debris can be seen spread around the building. It was not clear what caused the damage. Israel's military did not immediately respond to a request for comment about the satellite images. Nevedim is home to the Israeli Air Force's most advanced aircraft, including US-produced F-35 Lightning II stealth fighter jets. It is not clear from the satellite imagery whether any aircraft were in the hangar when it was struck. Nevedim also sustained light damage during an Iranian missile and drone attack in April. Speaking out against Israel's ground offensive in southern Lebanon, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan claimed on Tuesday that Israel would set its sights on Turkey next. In a speech marking the opening of parliament following its summer recess, Erdogan criticized both the international community and the Islamic world for failing to stop Israeli operations in Gaza and Lebanon. He vowed to stand strong against Israel and to support Lebanon. The Netanyahu government is dreaming a crude dream that includes Anatolia, Erdogan claimed, referring to a large swathe of Turkey. The place that the Israeli administration will set its sights on after Palestine and Lebanon, with complete religious fanaticism, will be our homeland, he added. No matter what the cost, Turkey will continue to stand against Israel and call on the world to join this honorable stance, he said. Vaad edilmiş topraklar hezeyanıyla hareket eden İsrail yönetiminin tamamen dini bir fanatizm ile Filistin ve Lübnan'dan sonra gözünü dikeceği yer açık söylüyorum. Bizim vatan topraklarımız olacaktır. Karşımızda tüm bölgeyi ateşe atmaya niyetli Netanyahu hükümeti Anadolu'yu da içine alan bir ham hayal kurmakta, Ütopya peşinde koşmakta, bu niyetlerini de çeşitli vesilelerle ifşa etmektedir. Bedeli her ne olursa olsun, Türkiye, İsrail'in karşısında durmaya, dünyayı da bu onurlu duruşa çağırmaya devam edecek. Biz Türkiye ve Türk milleti olarak bu zor günlerinde Lübnanlı kardeşlerimizi asla yalnız bırakmayacak tüm imkanlarımızla kendilerini destekleyeceğiz. Hundreds of firefighters and volunteers in southern Greece battled a wildfire for a third day straight on Tuesday in a blaze that has already killed two people and devastated a large forested area, prompting pledges of assistance from other European Union countries. Three waterbombing aircraft from Italy and Croatia were due to arrive later Tuesday after Greece requested help through the 27-country bloc's emergency civil protection mechanism. The Greek Fire Service said more than 400 firefighters, assisted by 22 aircraft, were engaged against the blaze in the rugged mountains of Corinthia in the Peloponnese region. The authorities were optimistic that progress had been made as the main front of the blaze was out, leaving a large number of scattered fires. However, it remained unclear whether that success could be expanded on before winds whipped up and spread the blaze again. Officials ordered that another village be evacuated as a precaution Tuesday, a day after half a dozen similar orders were issued. A major highway that was closed overnight as flames swept close by was reopened on Tuesday. The blaze destroyed a historic church in the mountains and reportedly damaged buildings outside the threatened villages, but the fire service was not immediately able to provide further details. The two victims were identified as local residents who got trapped late Sunday by the fast advancing blaze. Greece, like other southern European countries, is plagued every summer by destructive wildfires that have been exacerbated by global warming. Over the past few months, 
the fire service has had to cope with more than 4,500 wildfires. This year's had been flagged as the most dangerous fire season in two decades after the countryside was left parched by a protracted drought and early summer heat waves. Still, Greece's big investments in extra water bombing aircraft, warning drones and other equipment have led to most blazes being extinguished shortly after they broke out. Thank you.